Okay, I'm working on some martial arts stuff here. I'm going to start off with uh, a few unarmed defenses against an armed person. And I believe looking at the armed part of the arts, not just dealing with defenses against weapons of all kinds because it's uh, likely that it will occur. Uh, MMA is great and I'm influenced greatly by it in its training methods, but the weapons aspect uh, is definitely a part of street encounters in real life we must look at. So besides working against a weapon, I feel it's important to work with one, and uh, one way to learn to defend against one is to work with one. So I'd like to show a few defenses, and I don't want this tape clip to be about techniques, but about some concepts. I'll show a few techniques though, okay? So a common statistic is that people are experiencing death due to the overhead thrusting strike. So one attack we want to deal with is that. Okay, I'm going to show just a few I recall, like whirling thorn. Okay, the, the, the strike is coming to my high left. Come on. Boom, I might whirl a thorn around. A whirling thorn whips it back into a person. I stick a something into her leg or drive her force forward and then I come up with a elbow and a claw. Whirling Thorn is very similar to Crouching Falcon, another clip of mine you might have seen. Again, overhead strike comes. I move offline and double carry, thrust a weapon into her thigh or his thigh or the thigh of the attacker, redirecting the downward thrust down to their thigh coming up and down with some finishing uh, elbow and claw movements. This is an Alicia palm stick. Another weapon I've been working with is a stick on a string or a lanyard. I'm going to show another... Uh, I want to get close enough to show this. My four step mover so to take it out. I put my thumb through the string, step one. Palm up, step two. Curl the palm around, much like in uh, Wing Chun form, step three. Grab the stick, step four. Have enough punyo to use on either side. Step. So there's four steps to take this out. It's a stick, a very dense hard stick from a uh, gift I got. Again, lanyard. Step one. No, okay, we're talking, walking. You got your weapon, okay? So uh, we're talking. I don't want to beef. We don't got to fight. I don't know. Just stand back. Maybe I'm going to kick you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you come closer, I'm going to mess with you. I'm working on deploying my weapon, okay? I want you to take your pumps because you got one. So if I get my weapon, she gets hers. What I want to look at is a weapon, two weapon drill. Now it's both people armed. I'm not just taking away this. You feed me this. I could cut this immediately or strike. From here, I'm going to curve. Hook down around, pass it, take the arm, finish here, stamp the kidney, or raise up, step on the foot, down between the collarbone, or into the neck. There's three targets to start, okay? She feeds downward strike, this is pal, so I circle and step. That could be, if it was bladed weapon, cut. This could be striking, and Kempo, I know there's raking movements, well this rakes and rides across on the way to block the flex and I curve, now I'm on the outside even though I started on the inside. Open palm and parry, take the kidney, up, take the collarbone, okay. That's advanced work, weapon to weapon drill. There's four targets I took, the kidney, down in here, the subclavian, clavicle area, the neck. Now I'd like her to demonstrate the four step grip. I asked her to work. We worked with the palm stick and dealing with some techniques. I know a technique called Dance of Death where you parry a push or punch and you go low. Sometimes with a rich hand. Here's with the weapon. I showed Martine the fourth step to get that stick ready. If she concealed it and kept it low, I advanced. Do you remember the four steps you did? Watch me in the air first, okay? If I'm facing the same way you are, you, if you move back, I want you to work on getting that stick ready first. Four steps to get it. Once you once it's loaded, keep it hidden. Carry back. As though you don't want to fight. When I advance, you carry back. I want you to go for the door with one. The hand that was five by her. I want you to hold up the shot. Double down. Double down. That's it. Very basic weapons based technique. Now I don't have the weapon, she does. I want to look at all these scenarios. 
Unarmed against armed. Armed against armed. Maybe she needs to be armed, and she's justified to if I'm bigger and stronger. I want to want to see all these scenarios in practice. So again, she's working the four-step technique just to get a weapon out because it won't do her any good if she can't get it out. I can grab this stick. That's more difficult. Motor skills are going to have to be developed. The gross motor skill and pattern of striking down comes in handy when she blocks. Groin strike. Overhead, overhead. Okay? That's our, that's our technique, okay? If she fed me a strike, I could do the same technique without a weapon. You could just go to one, two, three, four. Put a fit in five, six. Kick this over, flip. Sure. Works good. All right, just looking at all the scenarios and training with weapons, things that some MMA aspects may lack. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Hope you like the clip. Namaste.